Welcome to part 3 of my Fokker DR1 build videos, mounting the wings. Because my wings are ending up stiff enough I decided not to include the interplane struts like on the real thing. I was just going to rubber band the wings onto the fuselage. So this is my normal method of uh, creating posts for the rubber band mount. ID card plastic and carbon fibre tubes. Nothing fancy there. That works well. And this is another strip of 3mm ply on the outside of the fuselage for the top mount bolts to pass through. A bit more red tape as usual. Drilling holes for some bolts to pass out through the side of the fuselage. And these will attach the top mount for the top wing and uh, the rubber bands for the middle wing. To form the top mount I made up this jig from um, leftover foam and that just lets me locate the wing in space and then create the support struts around that. These are the brackets which uh, form the top mounting deck for the top wing, just 20mm aluminium flat and I just tape them on top of the jig like so. I'm using carbon fibre arrow shafts for the struts so I need to make up some ends to allow me to, to uh, bolt it all together. And this is just aluminium tube which is the right size to fit on the end of the arrow shaft. I just hammer it flat, clean it up, cut off a short section and that'll make a nice little end. And I just need to round that off, clipping off the corners with some tin snips, filing it smooth with a file, drilling a hole for the bolt. And there we have a nice little side strut. And I need about, what's that, 12 of them. So you can see how that goes in. I haven't glued the ends on yet, so I can adjust the length to be just right to fit. Adding a little epoxy here to all the ends to uh, set them to the right length. While that's setting it's now time to make up some stickers. So this is just uh, contact adhesive, black for the crosses and white for the background. Apparently this style of decoration uh, or identification was only used for a couple of years during the First World War because it might have made too good of a target for the enemy to fire at. Now that the epoxy has set I can remove that jig, I don't need that anymore. I'll just break it up and pull it out. And here I'm using Kevlar kite string to tie on the uh, longitudinal uh, bracing for the top deck. And now you can see how the top wing rubber bands onto that top deck. Once I had all the wings mounted I could do a test balance and I realised that there was no way I was going to be able to get the CG in the right place. So I had to do some major surgery and extend the nose so that the battery and the motor could uh, go forward a bit more. I found this with the Tiger Moth build as well. Rather than just add more and more weight to the nose, uh, it's better to extend the nose so that your existing heavy components can move further forward. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, the last video will be the final fitting out, fitting electronics and a bit of a flight.